All right, what's up? Okay, so today I wanted to show you a step-by-step -step on how to check a car if you go to the auction, if you purchase one, okay? So, for example, we have a 2016 Toyota Corolla right here in front of us, which is the car that I'm gonna use to show you guys how to do it. You can use this with any other car, same methods, whatever. Okay, so let's get started. Here is, first things first, like I said, look at the car as if you were a customer, right? So do a visual inspection all the way around. Okay, check out the car. Look for any noticeable dents, anything like that. Check out the back. Look at the trim of the car and stuff. All right, so step one is doing the walk around. So far, no major dents. Nothing bad, you know. Step two, let's pop the hood. Right now that the car is cold, it would be the best time to do this. So let's pop the hood. And when popping the hood, all right so we see the engine this is actually very clean so that's a good sign uh that means that whoever brought it here before took care of it with the car it's overall it's a 2016 so it should be good now first things first so you got the oil dipstick look at the condition of the oil this oil actually looks really clean um get a rag or a piece of paper or something so you can check the dipstick can you hold on to this one yeah sure a napkin shout out to our sponsor Jason Deli <laughs> sponsoring this video no I'm just kidding all right so we come in here and of course we clear out the dipstick make sure it's clean <laughs> and then we put it in here now come over here bring it closer so I can see it. and now make sure that it's within specs so, so far, that looks like it has pretty good oil and it's in great condition, right? Mm -hmm. That's good. Let's put it back. Next, we look for the coolant reservoir, make sure it has coolant, make sure it has water. So as you can see, I can see the coolant right here because this bottle is clean. Let me see. You can see, where is it? Right here, the bottle is clear. You can see that there's plenty of coolant in the car. So, coolant is your next step. Look at the battery for corrosion. There's no corrosion in the battery, so we're good. You can go as far as removing the air filter, but hey, so far everything's been good. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Check your brake fluid. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes, but I can see that it's got plenty of fluid right there. It's right a bit under the max line, but you can see it right there. It's pretty good on brake fluid. So there you go. Automatic transmission. I don't think this has a dipstick but you would just check it for cleanliness of the fluid. There's no need to check for stuff or if it's missing fluid, of course, but you don't need to check anything else. So remember, check the oil, check the coolant. You can go as far as opening the radiator, but this is a little bit hot right now. Somebody, I'm pretty sure, ran it before. Um, anyways, oil, coolant, battery, radiator, check overall. Look around and inspect for leaks, you know, make sure that there's no head gasket leaking or no valve covers leaking or seeping or anything like that. Check and see for any leaks underneath the car. So, like I said, this car looks really good. This is something I definitely pay top dollar for, you know, because if I would pay top dollar for, the consumer would definitely pay top dollar for it as well. Next step, of course, is coming into the car, starting it up, checking the mile, checking to make sure the AC cools down. Make sure the radio works. If there's any electronics in the car, they all should work. The lights should work. All the windows. Play with all the windows. Be like a little kid in the car, you know? Play with every single thing you can find to make sure that it works and that you're not having to spend money on it. I guess it would suck having to pay some in this car. It looks really nice. Check the ox. Make sure that there's no, like, candy or anything trash in there you know your uh cigarette lighter as well and all that good stuff make sure it goes into gear you know these options allow us to test drive so you can go on a test drive sure 2016 36,000 miles like i said earlier shouldn't have any problems you know so yep that's how we do it
if you have stuck around thank you for watching hope you have a good day like subscribe to the channel have a good one